So to explain exactly what it is I got going, as you can see here, um, this is a flat, normal looking spur band. Look over here on this side, I've got a nice round contoured edge to it. So uh, outside edge. So um, the way I do my bands, as you can tell here, see how this is thick and this is thin. This starts out a quarter inch. The whole band starts out a quarter inch. Y'all know I taper them and all that. I like that line. I like the, the look of that. Strength comes from this part of the spur band. So uh, that's my reasoning for doing that. Um, if you look at this edge right here, see it's thick here and then I have it thin here. There's two ways to go about rounding a spur band. I get me a Sharpie, a big one. This is gonna make it where I can see my line easy. And this spur is already polished out and this was done on a demonstration deal for some folks. And, and uh, um, that's why I've got it. I would do this right after I weld the shank on um, and I got my big, my big uh, coarse grit, 50 grit paper and I'm grinding my weld out and doing all my taper. This is when I would do my, my uh, the, the, the rounding of the band is at this stage of the process. But there's two ways to do this. Get you some dividers and we can mark a line here like this from the outside. And being as this part of the band is thicker and this is thinner, I'm going to be a, a ways from the inside and then real close to the end uh, and then close to it here. So you can see my line's going to be real close there and then it'll be real far away. See here, it's real close. Here it's far away. Now, if I want that line to be straight and even so that you hide the taper, simply mark from the inside and come around. So what that would mean is, is right here, you basically don't have any round and then you got a lot of round here. Maybe that's a cool thing. Maybe that's something you're wanting to do. I kind of like showing the taper. Tapered lines create movement with the eye. I'm trying to make the eye move around and think this metal work is really cool before I ever start my decoration. So I'm baking the cake, making it look cool. I'm going to mark from the outside, normally speaking, come around like that. And then I'm going to grind to that line. Can y'all see that line? Since I can't, I don't have a cameraman today. Justin left me. Anyhow. Um, I can't see what y'all are doing, but maybe y'all can see that. See that cute little line? I'm going to grind to it. How am I going to grind to it? Right there on the old outlaw grinder. So you can see I got the slack belt method. What? This is the flat platen, but I don't have the platen on the back like you see right here. See, I got it mismount up. That paper doesn't bend. It's hard. Works great doing different things, but for what we're doing right here, and doing on this spur band is I want this part of my spur to be round. Well, guess what? When I push on it, looks what happens. It bends in. It helps me create the round. So that's the reason for doing this. I got an X weight paper on here. This is 120. I would start out with the 50 and then come to the 120. And, uh, and then, and I tell you what is, so this is, this is X. Um, I might come to a little softer paper. This is a, a, a J weight paper. Um, you can see that it bends real easy compared to the stiff. Um, the, it, it, it would make the contour in my spur a little better, a little easier to do. So let me see if I can put this up here. Y'all hang on. Where's, where's my deal? There it is. I'm not going to turn anything on, make any noise, but I'll show you what I'm doing. So I've got my line scribed right here and I would come in like this and just grind to my line. I'd grind all the way around to my line. And then I'd come to the other side and I'd do the same thing. I'm gonna have a line marked on both sides, grind around, and then I'm gonna blend it together like this. All the way around. So I just blend it all together, make it smooth. That's gonna happen before all of this button and hanger is welded on. It's just my shank is welded on. Come around, do it all up, get it clean. And then uh, I would go to a 400 grit finish and then I would weld these guys in there. So this won't be in your way. If you do it after you do this, all this is in your way and it's a pain in the butt. I hope that made sense. Um, doing metal work is extremely important and we all want to get, our, get out our fancy gravers and our pencils and our silver and make it all shiny. But if you have a really cool pair of spurs before you ever put any decoration on it, you got a cool piece in the end usually. So uh, pay attention to metal work. It's first and foremost, and, and uh, we'll go from there. Hope this was interesting. 
Uh, let it rain. Adios.